Okay, today we're going to learn how to create a desktop application using Prism. First you launch Firefox and you can see that I've done that and we need to find the Prism extension. Now if you don't already have it installed you can go to Mozilla and uh, find it. So we're going to go to add-ons .mozilla.org And once we get there, we're going to search for PRISM. And PRISM comes up, as you can see, Mozilla Labs PRISM. And what I want to do is add it to Firefox. Now, I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that. And this may look a little bit different if you're not on a Mac, but suffice to say, you need to install this extension onto uh, Firefox. So I've already installed this. And now what I want to do is to create an application. So I'm going to create one from YouTube. So I need to go to the YouTube page. So here I am at YouTube. Uh, it's taking a second to load up, um, but there it is. And now I want to go to my Tools menu and choose Convert Website to Application. And I get this dialog box which gives me the different parameters that I can choose and only one of them is required which is where to create the actual shortcut for the application not exactly sure why they call it a shortcut I'm going to tell it to put it on the desktop and I'm going to leave everything else alone and click OK and that's it I'm done now before I show you what happened I'm going to go back to uh, Wikip uh, Wikipedia here All right and we're just gonna hide this for a second so you can see on my desktop I have this YouTube app uh, it's still thinking about this there we go uh, and in order to see what happens I can just double click to launch this so here we are this is now a separate application and you can see there's n all the only menu that's here is just this little cookie here and I have a separate window and I can make this window bigger for YouTube if I want but YouTube now exists in a separate window I'm gonna switch back to my uh, Firefox All right. so here I've got uh, Wikipedia running in Firefox now let's say something happens and Firefox crashes on me now, Firefox is gone, but my YouTube window is still there. And that's the beauty of Prism and this site-specific browser.